Hello, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be the first of uh, hopefully several videos of me showing some of the old explorations off, and how to do them, of course, in the current WoW Classic. I have no idea how many I'm going to be able to do, but uh, I've just done one and I thought, you know, let's just start here. First one will be, of course, the uh, Ironforge Airport. I loved exploration back in the day. It was one of the things me and a few friends basically spent way too much time doing. And uh, yeah, I'd love to go back and see how many of those places I could see again. And uh, the first one is this. Of course, the way uh, this was done originally, you can't do it, uh, to my knowledge anyway, at the moment. Um, the jump is not possible. So I went looking for a different way and uh, yeah, I found one. So this is the North Pass in uh, here. You can see where I'm standing right now. To get here you just run up this little bank, it's pretty simple. And yeah, to get up there, you have to, uh, for some reason you won't let me up, but, but I wait, wait. Okay, yeah. So from here, if I, what the hell is going on? There we go. From here, you want to just uh, jump across. You can kind of wall jump, I guess, across that little bit. And you're up. Yeah, easy peasy. From here, it's uh, just a straight run. You can just go through the uh, snow, the bushes, trees, whatever, and you'll uh, get to the airport. I'm not going to do a full exploration. That'll take way too long. And it would destroy some of the, uh, you know, fun of going there yourself and seeing what you can find, what you can see, but uh, I will definitely be running through. Some of the fun stuff you'll see straight away is terrain like this, where it's not expected that you'll, uh, you know, run into it in your day-to-day -day activities, so they didn't bother sticking in uh, a blend to, like, mix the two. So you just get this sort of dead slice where the two uh, terrain palettes meet in the middle. Yeah. Up ahead, you just go down uh, towards the wetlands and around, and then that'll be it, the airport. Let's go and have a look, shall we? I'll take you through some of the places, have a little bit of a laugh, and then uh, that'll be that. Come down and see if you can find something yourself. Yeah. I used to uh, do lots of exploration back in the day with the old wall jumping and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's safe to do this if anyone's wondering, by the way. I'm uh, pretty sure that since this isn't giving you anything other than just fun in seeing places, you're not uh, gaining anything, there's no benefit to it, it's just a bit of a laugh. You know, World of Warcraft probably aren't going to bother banning people or, you know, whatever for, for you just coming and checking out these places. This is just a bit of fun, you know. You come here, you see some crazy stuff and... Uh, you smile a bit, and then at the end of the day, that, in my opinion, that's what MMOs are about, you know? A place where you can go, have a bit of fun, just smile. There's plenty of pretty cool buildings up here. This one's obviously the one from uh, Uldrag Valley. I'm sure it's in plenty of other places, but off the top of my head, I can't remember them. I know that... Uh, there's flags in these buildings which you capture to like steal the uh, bases from the other teams in uh, Alterac Valley. Then you've got the uh, the airport here. One preparing to take off and a crying <laughs> guard. If you look closely, you'll probably be able to see like, people that are on the bloody flight paths coming across, which will be great fun seeing a random druid just running through the uh, area. Oh, this 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 is the uh, the, the tunnel of obscurity. Because no matter what you do, you cannot see up the goddamn tunnel. Every angle that you can try and get, you, you can see kind of in there, but you just, just just can't quite get that angle. It's, it's just so close yet so far. There, there probably is a way. I just can't quite get it, but hey, probably just going to be like a dead end or something, or a drop under the world, you know, that could be it as well. A 
couple of buildings like this one over here which are basically just plumped onto the terrain and uh, you can see the rocks and stuff essentially blocking you going in but if you run into it here you can see that the, the rest of the buildings in there you just uh, can't get in there yourself Oop. if you've ever flown on this flight path then you'll know that uh, up ahead you've got uh, dwarfs fighting trolls and yes you can help you can kill them they drop loot just general loot to my knowledge of what you would expect to get from a really low level humanoid certainly nothing to brag about I mean if you were really really low level and looking for a pace to grind maybe you could come up here I don't even know if they give XP but hey wow I got a crude bastard sword Jon Snow would be pleased yep all this crap just fills up your bags but it's still fun me and my mates used to come up here and mess about for quite a while back in the day Frostmane short sword yep a lot of these uh places are pretty cool just off the map areas basically designed for flight path um, just to keep you occupied while you're on a flight path you're not supposed to come here but uh, if you're persistent you can find ways yep. the last place I'll show you that's a pretty cool sword yep, the last place is just up here Sometimes you'll see a guard plodding up the side of the mountain. In fact, most NPCs in these areas basically act exactly like you would expect any NPC to act. They just sort of uh, don't act properly to the area they're in. Like you'll find an Ironforge guard not in Ironforge, but he'll still point you to the closest thing in Ironforge. Helpful, I suppose. Anyway, we're basically on top of Ironforge now. There's the uh, large Ironforge gates. I really, really wish I had a mount. It would make so much. It would make this so much easier. I'm glad I'm a druid though, because, you know... 40% speed is still better than, like, you know, nothing. Yep, as you go up, you'll find a bunch of different campsites and whatever. I mean, that'd be a really good bloody guild meeting spot, if you're the sort of guild that likes to do guild meetings with all your characters sitting in one spot. Certainly not going to get interrupted by any random people. Unless you're unlucky enough to have a random druid running past. Yeah, oh. There's the guard. He, he plods right up the side of the cliff and just goes and sits at the top where the flag is. Which is right where I'm going to be going right now. Here he comes. And yeah. Here we are. Just a bit of fun, as I say. A lot of this stuff is uh, just for entertainment, you know. Go check it out. See what you can see. If you're... Uh, getting a bit bored of questing and dungeoning and you're looking for a break from the grind well this is something you could do to just pass the time do something a bit different and yeah there's a bunch of places you can get to from uh, some of these areas I'll try and uh, go over a, a few in time and we'll uh, see where that goes yep yeah, that'll be about it for this video hopefully it was interesting hopefully uh, some people will find a bit of a, you know, an interest in this sort of thing and maybe go and look for your own places to see if you can find um, some stuff that you know I or anyone didn't know about. It was uh, some videos back in the day that sparked off my interest in the exploration and um, 
hopefully some of these will inspire a few others to do the same. Anyway, I'm now going to set my fur on fire. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Cheers for checking out the video, guys.